Hi. Hi. Congratulations. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Congratulations on your movie. Um, I cried a few times just because how real and raw it got. Um, One of the most compelling parts of the movie for me was Aaron's love for Mr. T. She wasn't going to like let him die despite her brother. Do you think Aaron actually wanted to bring uh, Mr. T to New York with her or was it just a way to kind of just persuade him to figure out another way to keep him alive? Oh man, there was a lot of kind of subconscious reasoning behind um, why she was so adamant to like stay and help Mr. T. I think that she genuinely cares about that horse. And it's like the one thing, the two horses that they had were like the one thing from her childhood that was like constant and always gave her love and she felt safe with. So I think that that's like, to like take that away when he could still live the rest of his life was like so um, wrong to her genuinely. So I think that like what she says is real. Um, And then I also think that it's kind of like, I think there was like this subconscious like want and need from her to stay around and to to be needed there at the ranch. Um, Because I think that she knew that there's like unfinished business between her and the healing with Cal, her brother, and the like release of this like pain and trauma with her dad. And like, I think she like subconsciously wanted to stay to let that, like let that healing start and kind of see it through. So I think that like the horse was like her way in, in a way, if that makes sense. Yes. Cause we even saw like the complicated relationship, you know, between Cal and Aaron that they had, especially that conversation with growing up and just what their father did. Do you think Aaron felt some regret for not, you know, communicating with her brother after all those years, especially for what um, her father did? I think the whole thing about what happened when she left and then the time, their, their time apart where she's like totally just you know excommunicated from from that life including him is so painful because they did have a love for each other and they did have a safe space together um and that was really tainted when you know when when he didn't do anything when he didn't protect her and he wasn't there for her that trust and that safe space was just completely ruined so I think that it's so sad when she comes back and she starts like kind of getting back into this, like seeing him and getting back into this life where she grew up in this relationship and kind of facing these things that she's been suppressing for so long. She's like emotionally and physically faced with them. And um, it's sad because I, I'm, I'm, I know that she feels like regret and guilt that she ran away from him. But then there's this also this like, childlike like such intense abandon that she felt from him and this anger that she has towards him and then this like hurt that she has because her dad didn't love her enough to like you know he he was phys- physically abusive and like so I know that there's just a lot of feelings there um but yeah I do think guilt and regret maybe guilt um is one of them yeah because you've done so many different roles, what makes this story special for you? I think it's so different than anything I've played or done before, which is something that I really look for in going into a new project. I'm like, is this how is this character like something new for me in this kind of world that I'm going to be exploring in and the energy and the energy, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> like the, the tone, how is it going to be different and how am I going to like be able to, you know, myself be like inspired and learn and get better and then also be able to create something that's new and meaningful in a different way um and I felt like this was a different a totally different girl than I've really played before um uh there's some really heavy things that she's you know gone through and she's so resilient and um and then also just the arc the characters the being in Montana the brother sister relationship and um I just yeah I just I loved so many things about it 
Where's the bus? Oh, yeah. Where is the bus? You said we used to be a singer. Oh, where is the bus? 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 Where is the bus